this is gonna be my last of the best of handbag series the best travel handbags from my entire collection hello my name is Amy and on this channel we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion so if you're new here consider subscribing but if you've never seen this series before definitely have a watch here I'm gonna put the playlist over here if you do have other requests to add to the series definitely let me know I might end up doing them so whenever we travel we need different handbags the larger ones the smaller ones the larger ones for when we're in transit so when we're actually doing the traveling or getting to the destination or coming back home we also need maybe the more compact ones for when we arrive at the destination so when we're actually touring the city or doing different activities so for me i cannot just use one bag as my entire travel bag and it depends on what kind of travel as well the first must-have travel bag that i want to share is actually my not very expensive longchamp tote i do have it in a limited edition and it is extra dusty right now like everybody i also had to cancel my travel plans this year so it was kind of sucky but anyway i still want to shout out to the longchamp which has been a workhorse i only use this bag when i am pretty much in transit so going to and from the airport to the destination the reason why i don't use it when i'm at the destination is because this bag is actually a little fussy i mean it is a workhorse and you don't have to baby it uh, mine is in this coated canvas so it's extra durable extra waterproof and it's tone on tone so you can't really get it dirty and it's black but it is not the most convenient bag first of all this flap here does get in the way of zipping and unzipping your bag i do like the look of the flap but i just don't find it convenient at all like it drives me nuts if i have to get inside my bag quite a bit but when i'm in transit i don't have to get inside my bag all that much i just need a lot of space love having an organizer in this bag as well because it really helps when you have to throw in a bunch of different things, I do end up putting it on the floor in front of my seat. So having things organized really, really helps. And like I said, it's just an all around, a very reliable bag for travel, but only when I'm in transit and it's super roomy. You don't have to worry about going through the conveyor belt, through security and it's just a workhorse i also usually end up putting my nicer smaller handbags inside this handbag because i definitely don't want to check it in and i sometimes don't even want it to be on the overhead bin i just prefer it having it close to my body up next i actually wanted to feature my speedy v25 typically when you go on road trips you don't need as many things you can leave things inside your car for convenience such as your bottle of water or maybe your sanitizer and different things like that your jacket put it in the back seat i don't use it as an every everyday bag I find it fussy to get in and out of if I have to really get in and out of it very frequently and usually I don't really end up stuffing it enough and because this bag is still really roomy I don't end up having enough things inside and I don't like it floating around so I don't actually end up using this bag very much but I do think that going forward I would probably use it more on road trips or on day trips around town up next i wanted to feature the trusty and classic neverfull i have here in the mm size i also featured this as my one of my best everyday bag the reason why this handbag is not at the very top of my list is because it is kind of too open when i think travel i want to protect my belongings and usually when i'm traveling i literally have my entire life inside right i have all kinds of things all kinds of electronics when you're in transit you don't want things to fall out without noticing so to me this is less good of a travel bag but it is still good if you use it on again road trips it sounds like i do a lot of road trips which i actually do because Prior to the pandemic, uh, my husband and I would drive down to the States quite often. So the Neverfull is not my top travel bag, but it is still one of my best travel bags, especially for road trips or day trips. My next option is yet again another monogram bag, and this is the Lucy Pochette Accessoire. And I love it because this can be the transit bag but it can also be your destination bag so when you're in transit i would probably fill both of these pouches to the brim bringing my camera on board my passports all kinds of documentations all my sd cards all my cables um, i think it would be the best place to store all of that in here when you're at your destination you can just use maybe the front pouch as your date night or evening bag and then you could still use the whole combination like there's just so 
many fun ways to use this bag, which is the reason why I decided to get it. And it ended up being my most used 2020 handbag. I have to include a Chanel handbag. Of course, Chanel handbags are a little bit more delicate. They're not gonna be as much of a workhorse canvas material, but if you go with a caviar, then it can still be very travel friendly. Let me tell you why I end up traveling with this bag every single time. I especially bring this bag when I go on far away destinations, so definitely by plane. I do end up using this bag on me as well as say my Longchamp tote while in transit because I do sometimes end up putting my phone, my camera, and just like my passport in here. I just like having this close to my body while I run into uh, a coffee shop or whatnot and maybe a family member is looking after everything else. So I do like having a small tiny bag on me anyway. And if I have to stow it away, then I put it inside the Longchamp bag, which is why the Longchamp is also the perfect transit travel bag. But the reason why I love bringing the mini is because when I'm at the destination, this becomes my main handbag. And I love the fact that I'm able to wear one of my favorite handbags of my entire collection. This is definitely my top most used handbag, I would say, even though it is tiny. And you have to downsize, yes. Which I don't mind because I find that you usually end up walking a lot when you're traveling, you get tired. The last thing you want is having all these things on your shoulders and having to carry a bunch of things. You might have to end up carrying a bunch of things anyway because you'll go shopping, you might have to carry water with you, which I of course don't put it in here. I'll just use one of those fabric shopping bags which are amazing, you can just fold them up, but at least you have one of your favorite, most beautiful handbag to photograph with and to just be wearing it around and just to get more cost per wear in general. Not to mention that because this bag is so small that even if you do have to pack it back inside your carry-on, it's not gonna take up that much space. It doesn't get mangled or anything, it's still pretty structured. This one is in caviar and of course I make sure to stuff it inside with Whatever you have, you can stuff a shirt inside if you wanted to. Just make sure you bring your dust bags, obviously, and pack it well, but it's just an amazing way to utilize your bags more, get more cost per wear, and also have your best and most favorite handbags around even when you're traveling. Even when we go on vacations where we would spend a lot of time at the beach, for example, we would still do a lot of city stuff. And in those cases, when I go to the beach, I can actually still use this bag. I won't have to baby it when I put it on the sand or on, or on the grass. It's just so easy to wipe it off. What are your most trusty and favorite travel bags? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.